Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still laughing at Lauren Boebert realizing Donald Trump's gag orders aren't the kind you can just stop with the safe word you decided on in the lobby of the Fairfield Inn and Suites Denver Airport. I know. Well, another Trump-backed horse loses. This time, it's Jim Jordan, and he face-planted on the wrestling mat straight out of the genius's stable with a voting session as messy as Judge Jeanine after a wet lunch. The defeated former president has been making the rounds on his lopsided golf cart with fresh claims about the value of Mar-a-Lago, flies, and no, not the kind Rudy Giuliani lays on the bed and hopes to get some help with. Meanwhile, President Biden begins to troll the failing truth social site. I'll be digging into all of that, a fresh, genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book and more, but first, this. This evidence, we have this evidence, or we need help over here, and we need help over here. That's why we set up the Election Crime Bureau, everybody. That is why we set that up. This is what we do. That's why we have the one piece of it is the cause of America. Another piece of it, those two apps. It's a communication hub where you can go and you can go to your It's a communication hub where you can go and you can... Communication hub. Attempting to hype communication while having a communication breakdown. Led Zeppelin, you need to fix your song for Tom Selleck's slow cousin. It is pouring MAGA tears. Fill your mugs, have a laugh with the awesome people in the comments while I mock the latest and stupid from the clown car, dumpster fire, and more. My prediction is Jim will win this and even on the first round of votes. My prediction is Jim will win this and even on the first round of votes. My prediction is Jim will win this and even on the first round of votes. This guy's predictions are up there with false prophet Julie Green and Mike Lindell, who assured his lumpy pillow lovers that Trump would be back in by Thanksgiving 2021. Didn't happen. They were expecting maybe single digits against him, and they got a lot more. Now, because there's so much opposition, it's going to take a lot of work for the Hunter Biden-obsessed Jail Fauci ultra-mega lunatic who voted to overturn the election, opposes same-sex marriage, wants a national abortion ban, voted against aid to Ukraine, and did nothing while wrestlers were being abused. And here's Pine 11 survivor Brian Kilmeade on a hot mic reacting to the votes. Bacon. McCarthy. McCarthy. Dumbass. The best thing about that is it's tough to tell if Kilmeade's making that comment about McCarthy, Bacon, or both. According to Vanderbilt University Center for Effective Lawmaking, Jordan consistently ranks among Congress's least effective lawmakers. In the last Congress, Jordan ranked 217th out of 222 House Republicans. Look at this trio of turds during the vote. But I, I want to know, like, what is going on here? Does she have her iPhone out and she's trying to open the calculator app to spell boobs for them? Or are they watching her apply fresh lotion to her palms? What's really going on? Let me know in the comments. She said that Mar-a-Lago, she convinced the judge that Mar-a-Lago was worth in Palm Beach, Florida, the most expensive land in the world, I guess. That and the most expensive houses definitely in the world. The Mar-a-Lago, the biggest house, the most spectacular place in all of Florida, was worth $18 million when it's worth approximately, could be close to 100 times that amount. It does not take long to see that Mar-a-Lago is not even close to being in the running for most valuable properties. Trump purchased Mar-a-Lago for $5 million plus another $3 million for the tacky furnishings, and if he's claiming it's worth $1.8 billion, that is a 35,900% increase in property value. And Trump, we've all said it, if you really think it's worth that much, then pay taxes on it. President Biden has joined Truth Social just as it's facing even more huge failures, and I think it's just hilarious. He has a verified account with the dark branded eyes to zap all the morons in the feed. The Biden campaign statement said, there's very little truth happening on Truth Social, but at least now it'll be a little fun. This is like pulling up to a sinking ship on a speedboat, having a few drinks, doing a little dance before hopping back on your vessel as MAGA scurries for the women and children last Trump-branded lifeboats with more holes than a George Santos story.
Now, I am super curious to see the comments on there, but I'm still not willing to hand over my phone number to a Trump investment. But if I can swing a temporary number with an eSIM, I'll check out those MAGA tears. Thank you. I see every tip from pennies to dollars. They are hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks with this button. And please take two seconds after this video to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. These things are free and help the show grow. Thank you. I want to talk about now Fox News. Turn that off. Newsmax. Bannon's War Room. Real America's Voice. One America News Network and all the podcasts in the Clay Clark Flynn universe. They'll tell you who. Peter Navarro somehow manages to talk drunk and sober at the same time. And I agree with folks avoiding Fox News, but his motivation here is actually to get people to even more extreme channels. And yes, they do exist, and it's only going to get worse. I do love that he's a guest speaker at a convention alongside Mike Lindell, and it's also being shown on Lindell's TV network. And Tom Selleck's Slow Cousins Network doesn't even get a mention there. Wonderful people one day. I didn't know you had flies in Iowa. <laughs> I hate flies. Now, though, I'll get in trouble for saying that. Cruelty to animals. No, it's true. <laughs> You know, I said the other day, we, I was at a place, and there's a beautiful place, but they had, like, flies. And I said, get fly paper. They said, sir, they're not allowed to sell it anymore because of cruelty to animals. They actually said that. I don't know. Can you get fly paper? It used to be great, right? But they said, you can't do that anymore, sir. It's cruelty. What the hell is going on with this country? The real crazy here is Trump somehow is using this as an opportunity to blame the presence of a fly on the radical agenda to ban fly paper. Something that is very much not banned and can be purchased pretty much anywhere. Now, whenever flies are mentioned, it is actually the law to run this clip of a fly landing on Pence's head without mother's permission. Personally, I'm not a fan of the fly strips because when I was younger, I had some drinks at a friend of a friend's place. And when I went to use the washroom, it was pitch black and I walked into a fly strip and that thing stuck to my face in my hair. You know, like the, it had all the bugs in it. It was not good. Those things may kill bugs, but they'll also keep women out of your apartment. Like if a girl walks in and sees those hanging, she's not going to stay. Red flag. I got things turned around the other day and really Lindelled that one. My bad, Carrie Lake is now running for Senate so she can lose again. And I wanted to thank you for playing along and let you know that the fighter you chose was, did I forget to wear deodorant? For those new to the show, I'm glad you found me. Thank you. For a year, I've been reading a genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book. This really is a ton of fun. I only do it once a week and it's been pretty wild. Let's get back to it. The money was wet and windy, and when my pockets were full, Jason told me to stuff some in what he calls my old corncob face hole. I took a page out of my emotional support hamster's book and filled my top cheeks. Everyone was scrambling for this great redistribution of wealth while Paradise City boomed from the speakers. This was actually one of my songs when I do my thing as Valentine, but it's nighttime, so it's not my time because I am just morning hot, according to my manager, Craig. Only the top beauties get to work the brass in the evening, and so many times I've approached the boss for an upgrade, and not long ago he told me that putting Lauren Boebert on the pole at night would be like booking the one-shoe drunk guy who plays the broken guitar outside Walmart for the Super Bowl halftime show. So that's a no. It was also not worth mentioning to Craig that that one-shoe drunk guy with a broken guitar has a name. It's Tyler, and he's pretty fun to day drink with and a decent babysitter if you're in a jam. I don't get why people think it's fine to hire a bunch of fellas to do construction from the Home Depot parking lot, but I'm considered irresponsible because I book a bit of childcare outside Walmart. At some point, DJ Johnny D had propped the front door open to let the smoke clear after Brandy's Merkin landed on a candle, and I guess nobody went back to shut it. 
During the excitement, several all-nighters looking for an after-hours beer and a dance from a night-hot woman had strolled in and they were faced with free money blowing through the bar, a drenched man with a cane stumbling on stage while Guns N' Roses pounded from the speakers. Mr. Fong was not happy about this. He'd won the cash and now it was going away. Unlike the sores my husband Jason with the Y hides with a bit of scruff and a box of dye from the dollar store. One time, he had to shave for court, and although he tried to look kind of sober for the judge, the drive through tacos we had on the way were all over his suit, and the tiny cauliflower dots around his mouth took away from his super smooth chin. Just so you know, these are not actual miniature vegetables. Like, if we got stuck in a snowstorm, I would not be feeding them to Mountain Dew. Mm -mm. They just look like that when they're exposed and flared up, like on that day in court when Tyler looked after the boys. I remember tugging Jason aside and telling him that if he finds his face being stared down by a judgy judge, just be a man, be honest, and let him know that you are into carpentry, and you built a no questions wood shack off the 36, and maybe there should have been some questions, or a black light and vinegar. It was like a fairy tale. If you've enjoyed this genuine page from Low Rent Booze Burbs book, let me know in the comments, and I'll see about reading another page sometime soon. You have as much comedy as you have hair. Mega tears. TDS much? Mega tears. Ted Cruz is not and never was from Canada. He is a Texan and he loves our 2A. Mega tears. It was also not worth mentioning to Craig that that one shoe drunk guy with a broken guitar has a name. It's Tyler, and he's pretty fun to day drink with. <laughs> Decent babysitter if you're in a jam. As MAGA scurries for the women and children last, Trump-branded lifeboats with more holes than a George Santos story. Uh, don't eat the donuts. And when my pockets were full, Jason told me to stuff some in what he calls my old cock face hole. Donald Trump's gag orders aren't the kind you can just stop with the safe word you decided on in the lobby of the Fairfield Inn and Suites Denver Airport. Let him know that you're into carpentry and you built a no questions wood shack off the 36 and maybe there should have been some questions <laughs> or a black light and vinegar. Uh, gold, baby, gold. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on SiriusXM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.